Hi everybody, this is Avril Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in NBA 2K19. Uh, so first of all, uh, we will go inside of the game with all the parameter that the 2K Sport uh, give us. Uh, you will see that we have a lot of options that you can change and after that we will go to the config file because you even have more option in it and uh, you have a couple of things that you need to verify so that's really important. So first of all, let's start with the video setting. Video setting, um, this game is a bit weird, it's locked at 60 Hz, so if you have a high refresh uh, rate screen, it's currently, the game currently not support the 144 Hz, so that's kind of sad. Make sure that you're playing full screen, uh, you will gain a couple of FPS playing full screen, and also if uh, after all the change that uh, you will see, if you don't have your uh, 60 FPS, for sure you will need to lower your resolution. After that, make sure that your refresh rate match your screen. Probably it will be 660 for you. Uh, the vertical sync honestly uh, doesn't matter <laughs> anymore uh, because you will see that your uh, your refresh rate will be at back 60. But anyway, I'll still put this one at the uh, off. When you go inside of the game, the first thing that you need to change is shadow detail. This one, it's pretty crazy. When you put it at off, you will see a big uh, improvement in your FPS, something like 10 FPS just to put this one at off, so pretty huge. Also, remove ambient occlusion, volumetric lighting, another 5 FPS with both of them. Um, depth of feel, motion blur, and blur. Uh, depth of feel and motion blur, you will not have like a big increase. Depth of feel, a couple of FPS, motion blur, maybe one, but it's because motion blur, I really don't like this effect. So, if you like motion blur, just stay with it. Uh, but me, uh, I really don't like it. Bloom, you can have a nice gain too to remove it. So 3 to 4 FPS for this one. The biggest one here, floor reflection, mirror reflection. Those ones are really important. Uh, floor reflection, it's pretty crazy. You can gain like 7 to 8 FPS when you remove that. Mirror uh, reflection, uh, pretty nice chunk. After that, we can go back to detail. On the detail level, um, shader detail. For sure, if you have an integrate uh, video card or a medium like computer, uh, you will probably have to put this one at lower medium but honestly do your test because after to ch after that you will change like the shadow all the reflection um the game is kind of well optimized and you should have your 60 easily okay texture detail doesn't change a lot your fps uh in fact it doesn't change it <laughs> uh, so if you have uh, 3 gig of VRAM on your video card and more you can play at high if you have 2 gig play at medium and if you have less than 2 gig play at low Player detail, I didn't see a big improvement here. 1 to 2 FPS for each bracket. Crowd level is pretty decent though. You can have 2 to 3 FPS for each bracket. So definitely you should look at it. Media people, honestly, it's like 1 FPS for 2 brackets. So not a big deal. And the last one, air detail level. I saw 1 FPS for each bracket. So that's about it, guys. Uh, the only thing that you maybe need to test, uh, first of all, yeah, max I need it throws a P, this one lower to one if you have an integrate uh, GPU or like a very low end computer. And allo compute shader, put this one at on. Shader preload, this one you need to test it. I, I got uh, some issues in other game. So if you see that your, your game is doing some weird stuff and you have like big drop of FPS, sometimes just test uh, this allo compute shader and shader preload uh it should help you technically but sometimes um so and, and when a guy a, a game is launched uh it, it it's not optimized like it's supposed to be so after a couple of patches everything works fine but make sure that everything is fine on my 1070 i didn't see any issue now let's go to the config file the config file you have two files so first of all go to the user the name of your computer, app data, roaming, 2K sports, NBA 2K19. You will have a file called video setting help and everything is there. You have a lot of information that you can read about it. And uh, for each uh, whatever graphics setting, they show you, show you like what it's doing, etc. And if you have like a low, um, low end video graphic card, you should put this one at low. But they will say if you have a low uh, end graphic card, you should put this one at low. But honestly, just use what, what I'm explaining in my video because sometimes you just remove reflection, shadow, and you get your 60 easily. So you don't need to change anything else. So open the video setting. Make sure that you download Notepad++ because you want to see, yeah, 
all the line for each uh, option because if you open it with notepad you will see that's pretty messed up so use notepad plus plus and it's free by the way so first thing that you need to look at make sure that your cpu description is fine uh, you have the proper amount of core proper amount of thread after that, two things that you will need to change, cache spot shadows, cache sun shadows, put those one at false. And uh, that's about it. Everything else is kind of in the game. You will see a couple of other stuff that are not in the game. So you can do your testing here and just save and test in the game. If you're doing that, save the file, close. And after that here in properties, make sure that you put the file in read only because sometimes the game will override your um, graphic setting. So you need to make sure that um, you're blocking the game to override your uh, settings. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section and post me your rig with uh, your question um, like CPU, GPU, RAM, and I will try to help you the best that I can. Peace, everyone.